guys, I'm Maria Brown, welcome back. Well today, we're gonna touch up our roots to exactly match what our hairdresser does. Come on, let's go get started. The next time you're at your hairdresser, find out what brand your hairdresser uses. Find out what level the hairdresser is using. The numbers and the letters change. My hairdresser uses Goldwell, 5N and 6N on me, and he mixes it 50-50. The way the colors work is they start at level one, which is the darkest, darkest, and then two is lighter, three is lighter, four is lighter, and then it just keeps going up from there. Someone who's blonde will be using an eight or a nine or a 10. Okay, so in addition to finding out what brand and what levels your hairdresser is using, you also need to find out what volume of developer they're using. Probably it's going to be volume 20 developer, so find out for sure. Developer works the same way. So there's a level 10 and then a level 20 is better gray coverage. A level 30, and it goes up to level 30 and even level 40. Level 30 is when you're starting to lighten your hair and level 40 is if you wanna bleach your hair. Your hairdresser is probably using a volume 20 developer. Once you find out what your hairdresser is using on you, go ahead and order them online. Um, lots of people are selling them, so you should be able to find what your hairdresser is using on you. This is so inexpensive to buy it yourself. You can get this online for about $15 a tube. The companies like you to buy their own developer, but developer is developer. It's generic, so just any volume 20 is going to be fine. You can't be all glamorous when you're going to color your hair. So I'm gonna go touch it up right now. Uh, I'm gonna pull my hair all the way out of the way. Secure it with a comb, it's like another hand. And then just start on one side and you're going to just start brushing up from the bottom. You're gonna start from there. Then you're going to separate with your comb. And pull your hair up out of the way again. And where that part is, you're going to apply the color right on the part. You're gonna go up, 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 down, 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 down and cover all of those ends of your hair. Make another part about a quarter of an inch away. Use your comb to help secure that and just keep working your way up your head. I don't have to do the back as frequently because I don't, I have some gray back there, but not too much. So just part your hair in the back. Same thing, use your comb to get the hair out of the way. I twist the other side and then I use a handheld so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll use my brush and I'll brush one side of the part and I'll brush the other side of the part. And then just keep going. If you have a lot of gray back there, make sure you've got good coverage. There's little hairs further down on your head than you really think they are. And sometimes your hairdresser doesn't go far enough down on your head and, and you might still see some gray even after you came back from your hairdresser. That's the reason, because he didn't go far enough down on your head. So when you're done putting your hair color on, dip your brush into the color again and just go about half an inch past your hairline on your face and just add some color all the way around. I have this mixing bowl. I got this at Sally's. You can use really any kind of bowl, any kind of plastic bowl that you want. I got this little brush, this flat brush. Also at Sally's, this is great. Dedicate a couple of combs. You know, look, they turn colors. So you only want them for mixing up hair color. And the same thing with a set of mixing spoons. Um, they also turn colors. You don't want to be using these for anything other than mixing up your color. When touching up your roots, if you do it every three, four weeks, you're going to need about two teaspoons of color in total. And in addition, two more teaspoons of developer. So that's about four teaspoons of volume. For me, it's simple because it's 50-50. I'm going to use one teaspoon of level six and one teaspoon of level five. And for each teaspoon of color, you use one teaspoon of developer. So here I am with my level five. I'm just gonna measure it out, drop it right into the bowl. And then I'm going to come back and do the same thing with my level six, and then the same thing with the developer. Here's my level six. Now I'm gonna put this in. Now I'm just going to add the developer and mix it up. I use two spoons of color, and I'm going to use two spoons. Well, 
one, two, a developer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this, using the spoon, just gonna keep mixing this up. Mix it thoroughly until it's all blended in. Put the covers back on tightly and make sure you're putting the correct number in the correct box. All you do to start is you dip the brush into the formula, into the color, and just put a little bit on the end. That's all you have to do to start. Here, I'm just gonna start with the bottom and I'm just going to go up, up, up. So then just separate, say maybe about a quarter of an inch and pull your hair up out of the way. Then on your part, you're just gonna go up, 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 up on the part and down, 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 making sure you're getting all the roots. Again, just pull your hair way out of the way and you're just gonna go up, 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 up like this and down, 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 down and just keep going. Go all the way around your head. So some parts of your hair are probably going to have way less gray than others. Just adjust the amount, the volume of hair color you need to use. If you have a lot of gray, make sure you use enough hair color to cover those grays. If you only have a little bit of gray in an area, just use a little bit. Right around the top, and especially around my part, is where I have the most gray. I make sure I put enough color on there to color those grays. It's also important to remember, go far enough down on your face. Catch those little grays that you can't really see. And they're farther down past your hairline than you think they are. Of course, if you're going to the gym and you're pulling your hair up, you wanna make sure you're getting all underneath the edges too. Okay, so you've got your hair color all applied. And now go set your timer for 30 minutes. Make sure you wait the full 30 minutes. Okay, now 30 minutes is up and it's time to go wash out your hair color. Um, you're just gonna hop into the shower and you're gonna shampoo your hair. It's important that you use a conditioner on your hair. So make sure you use a good shampoo and a good conditioner. I've washed and dried my hair. Take a look at this color. It matches exactly what my hairdresser does. And why wouldn't it? Just make sure you've got the exact same brand and number and letter that your hairdresser is using and find out exactly what the mix is. And you're going to end up with the exact same color every single time. There aren't gonna be any weird lines in your hair. It's going to look beautiful. And you're gonna save yourself a ton of money doing it yourself in between your visits. Can you see what I mean? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got anything out of it, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Maria Brown. Thanks for watching.